All right, ladies and gentlemen, so they are actually rerunning the first Minmoth banner ever in like months. It's almost been like almost a complete year because I believe last time they reran a Minmoth banner, uh, I want to say, I believe I heard it was around last year of April, something around there. Uh, so they are back. I assume it's because it's Thousand Year Blood War. Um, let me actually check because I actually don't remember. It did the Toshiro banner. The, the Wolf Toshiro, did that drop before or after Asnot? Uh, I reran before, okay, so I don't think we're going to be getting that rerun for Toshiro, unfortunately. I actually really want him for his GQ week, but hopefully he just be, gets put into some filler. Uh, so maybe like a, a seasonal amoeba the swimsuit banner, or maybe we're getting another seasonal along the way, like maybe like Parasol for April again, who knows. But either way, Biaki and Asnot are here over the banner so it's coming on the 23rd i believe it's probably it should already be out by the time i end up uploading this because i'm gonna be like a day behind when i actually get the news because work but either way uh this is the banner and i will say none of the characters in here are actually like good in terms of the filler besides soyfon is pretty good for her gq week uh outside of that i mean you had used to be a good nuker in uh guild quest but now obviously we can't nuke through multiple waves. We can only nuke through one wave. And I don't even know if you can do that because of the up the defense and whatnot. Uh, Ichigo is a very good link. I will say that. Uh, Gremmy and Lily Barra will be soon to resurrect, I assume. Hopefully this year, but who knows when. And these two, I believe, are just okay. Like, she's not a bad link, but nowadays you want you mainly want recharge. Uh, and I don't think Yachu got the best treatment for her resurrection. So. The filler kind of suck, but they're way more rare. You don't see these characters that often, especially these uh, these ones, the Soyfon on down. Lily Barrow and Grammy I see all the time. Bro, the other ones are not that common. So, I mean, if you don't have them, I guess you could summon, but I'm going to be real. I think this is such an easy skip. There's no point in summoning. Like, sure, if you like the characters, I can't stop you, but if you're at- if you're looking up a should you summon video, I don't know why you're saying- why you're looking at it if it's a, oh, it's my favorite character, then summon. But, there's no pity, so obviously, you know, and it's- when it- the, the banner did drop, I had the three-step thing, every, like, three steps, you got a guaranteed five-star. I did three steps, I pulled Asna, I got lucky. I haven't used bro since, I'm not gonna lie, I just don't, like, if he was my favorite character, like I know another content creator, Deathsmasher, he loves uh, Asnot, so he uses him all the time, fair enough, I didn't like this guy's kid enough to actually use him, so, yeah, th th there's no pity, no increase, uh, like, every three steps you get a five star or anything, it's just every five steps you get a guaranteed five star, no tick, no pity ticket, 150 orbs and 200 orbs on the discount, so every 1, 6, 11, 16, and 21 steps is 150. 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22 is 200. The filler is mediocre. The characters are good. Asnot is a good mind character, but we have Yuha, who's just significantly better. We have White, who's also significantly better, and he's a premium character. Uh, Yakia, who's good in guild quest, but like, I don't care enough to summon for him, to be honest. I don't even know if he's that great for the fort, because I believe he's an SP character, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll, go, we'll be going over the kit. So let me know down below if you guys end up summoning. I don't think five steps is a bad idea if you don't have a lot of the filler, but I wouldn't recommend going past five or potentially even just the two uh, discounts. I, I think the two discounts would be fine, especially if you have enough orbs for end of month, which I think end of month is going to be a broken technique or power character. Uh, I doubt we'll be getting a broken... Uh, Honestly, I could see them doing like a broken uh, technique character and then maybe a power farmer. But who knows, maybe the broken power farmer will be swimsuits or end of month April. Uh, but we'll have to find out. Let's go over their kits. So for Asna, he has no affiliation. He is ranged. Uh, he has slow and weakening on all of his strong attacks, excluding his SA2 because it's a barrier. And if I'm not mistaken, the barrier is a slower recharge time. But thankfully, he kind of makes up for that because of his 14% recharge. But... It's still, like, so annoying that he has that SA2. It, in my opinion, that's why I also don't really care for King Deuce kit. Like, yes, he's very broken, but the SA2 just makes it feel super sluggish. Not the biggest fan of the SA2 being a shield. For essentially no reason. I, I just, I don't get it. Like, just give them, like, a barrier. 
like a starting barrier, I guess, if you want to make that, because like his, you know, the he has a Sunbun Zakura, I guess, but I don't know. Uh, he has damage to slow enemies plus 40%, damage to weak enemies plus 40%, uh, he has debilitator plus 5 seconds, he has a devastation value of 40%, it's okay. Uh, Frenzy plus 2, he has Havoc plus 20%, Havoc, Frenzy plus 2, very nice, more chance of proccing your status element, uh, but he doesn't have that on his SA2, which is like my biggest gripe with him, because if you're going into IT with him, you just can't do damage with that skill unfortunately, unless you have your SP boost active. Uh, he has uh, half a plus 20%, multi barrier plus 2, he has sharpshooter, and then the SP boost of 80%. And then he has the uh, full stamina only and reduced strong attack cooldown minus 6%, and then freeze duration minus 100% and sprint plus 1. This is a very nice skill, but you have to be at full stamina obviously, so you know maybe you want to bring in something, some way of healing, or maybe someone in your lobby, like a Rangiku, I believe, has the. She's the wrong status summon. I don't even know who has healing on. Uh, mind attribute but you get what i mean you might want to bring some sort of healing like maybe uh stamina recovery per stage or something but or just don't get hit obviously uh and i guess with the barrier it's not too bad so he's very he's a very good character it's just that he has some things that are flawed on him that i don't personally like so i will not touch this banner uh now moving on, moving on to Byakuya. okay he is an sp character i thought so uh and he's a normal attack damage character and Gilkos, it's so weird. They should have just made him a NAD character, to be honest. Like, yes, we love SP characters, but for a Gilkos character, as a side, unless they want, unless they thought he was somehow gonna be a main, but he's a boost character, so like, there's no way he would have been a main realistically, especially in no affiliation melee. Uh, cause is white no affiliation? I want to say he is, but I could definitely be wrong. And then they obviously knew that Yuha, they already knew what his kit was because this dropped like a month ish before white or Yuha ended up dropping. There's no way they didn't have his kit planned. So it's like, you know, he's a good side. He, he's a good side, but he's not the best. Uh, he has a no affiliation killer, damage inflicted at full stamina plus 30%. Uh, and then he has an SA2 boost, weakening in all of his strong attacks besides obviously his SA2. He does have the booster and enhancer ability, so that's also a very good uh, skill. He has the 43% increase of attack, focus, and defense. Uh, he has full stamina only, increased strong attack damage plus 40%, uh, booster plus 30%, obviously, damage to weakened enemies plus 40%, debilitator plus 5 seconds, devastation plus 40, enhancer plus 10, frenzy plus 2, start barrier plus 10, and strong attack recharge minus 12%. Uh, he also doesn't have Havoc, if I'm not mistaken, which obviously he's mainly using GQ, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely very annoying if you want to use him outside of GQ. Uh, and then he has Fire Duration, Marauder, and Sprinter Plus One. So, not a bad kit, it's just, for what it is, I wouldn't recommend summoning unless you're an absolute Byakuya simp, which, fair enough, he's a fairly popular character. I'll wait until his Core 2 form drops, and I can't wait to see how he gets shafted on that kit. Alright, now moving on to the filler. Grammy, nothing to say much really, he's just an absolutely outdated character, only Berserker value of 20, Bruiser of 20. He does have complete status immunity, which I want to say I think is the first character to get this, could be wrong, but that's very cool. Uh, hopefully his resurrection makes him really really good. Maybe a uh, another mind link like the uh, zombie Toshiro or Hakone, potentially, you know, increase the, the Berserker value by up to like 50 or 60%. Potentially give him an SP boost. I don't know. Guaranteed only has SP or Frenzy plus one, but who knows? Uh, he's he's okay. He's an Iran card killer. Just extremely outdated. That's all these characters that they're gonna be just extremely outdated. Lily Barrow actually has pretty good damage. A Berserker value of 40%, Bruiser of 40, Devastation of 60, only a Frenzy of 1. But since he doesn't have a status summon, it doesn't matter that much because he doesn't have to proc a status summon. All he needs is the farming. You know the link or the farming uh skill where if you get uh if you don't inflict a status on it do 100 percent more damage that that would actually make this character in incredibly good and then just buff the berserker value and then uh maybe give him something else um just give him pierce iron skin to be honest just make him like a farmer but make him just like uh the power of ichigo Make him like this thousand year butter reaching out, literally. Like, I don't think he'll be as good, obviously, but literally just give him Pierce Iron Skin, give him uh, increased damage to non afflicted status ailments. This right here, it'd be 100%, not 116. That's because of my link. And he'd be good. He'd be good. Actually, he could get 116 because I believe we have a Nanao with that exact same link. So. 
that could be kind of cool. Like, he could be good. He has pretty good, uh, I don't know about his strong attacks. I don't remember how good his strong attacks are. But his overall kit is not bad at all. So, do it, Caleb. Actually make him good, please. And then give him, like, or they could just make him the, uh, full stamina, or more damage inflicted, not when, uh, inflicting the status summit, plus 16% as the link, and then give him that 100% as his skill. That would be kind of crazy. I don't see it happening, but it'd be really cool. Uh, but yeah, good character. Good character, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, now, Soifon. She is actually resurrected. She's actually a very good character, especially in GQ. Uh, because I believe this is the first of the kind of when we got this. But she is a wrong card killer. Normal attack damage plus 20%. She has full stamina only. Uh, increased normal attack damage plus 20%. She has an SA2 boost. She has an enhancer. She has booster skill. Boom. She's basically just meant for GQ. Uh, she has flurry plus 1. Berserker plus 30%. Devastation plus 20. Enhancer plus 10 seconds. Booster plus 30, obviously. Long reach plus 20. Poise and sprint plus 1. And then I don't know if she already had this. But she has the innate skill of freeze duration minus 100%. So very good. I think it's freeze on that week. If it's not, then my bad. Then it's not that good. But I believe she has freeze immunity. If I'm wrong, then unfortunate. But still a very, very good character for GQ. Especially, and even if you don't even use her in GQ, this is a very good link for any uh, heart characters with normal attack damage values. So, very, very good character. And now to Yuha. He looks insane. I love his look. He's my favorite looking Yuha in the game. Um, as far as his kit. No. Um, he's a Captain Killer, damage taken minus 16%, strong attack recharge minus 10%. I want to say that he was the character to... Like, he was a Brave Battle character, which is crazy. I think he was used to counter Yachiru Unahana. Correct me if I'm wrong. I wasn't around at that time. I'm just kind of going... I'm just kind of going off remembering. But I believe that's what people have told me. Um, he has... Paralysis on all of his strong attacks, excluding his uh, transformation soul bomb, which gives him a barrier. Uh, he has, which has weakening. Uh, he has berserker plus 50%. He has bombardment plus one. He was one of the hardest hitting like nukers back in the day. He used to like nuke through the uh, captain GQ. Can't now. You can't do that now. But you know, uh, he, has he has bruiser plus 30%. Debilitator plus five seconds. Devastation plus 20, which is crazy to say. A devastation plus 20% soul bomb. Uh, was enough to nuke, but obviously, you know, Bombardment is just built different. Uh, Havoc plus 20%, Spiritual plus 1, and Start Barrier plus 10. He is resurrect resurrected as well, and his resurrection got kind of shafted. They just kind of kept him as, like, a guild quest character, but this soul trait is just awful. <laughs> it's so bad. You don't use it literally anywhere in the entire game, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunate, but it is what it is. He's just so cool. It's unfortunate that they just cucked his kit. Moving on to Ichigo. Uh, he's a good character, especially when he first got resurrected. Because he had the booster and enhancer skill. He was pretty good for nuking the uh, hard GQ. Uh, he was good as a booster, obviously. Not as like an actual nuker. Uh, I remember using him as a side. But uh, now with the very hard guild quest, he's essentially just demoted to a link. Crazy good art. I love the visuals on this art. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah, outside of him just being a Link, he's okay. He's probably a decent booster nowadays. Like, if you don't have anybody else for very hard goal quest, you could bring him. But since he's an SP character, he has no way of protecting himself, and he doesn't have enough damage to actually kill any of the side mobs, unless he might be max transcendent, then maybe. It's just like, eh, eh, I'd rather bring any other booster that's a normal attack damage character, you know? Uh, you know, if they have, like, a barrier and they don't even have killer, I'd rather prefer that. So that way, at least you're protected. And, you know, they stay alive. So, yeah, that's just my take on it. But he looks cool. He looks cool. Uh, now into Rukia. As you can see, like, her damage is okay. Bruiser of 30. Frenzy of 1. Havoc. Nothing crazy, though. They basically just gave her a really good link for the time. Strong attack damage was 20%. Damage inflicted at full stamina plus 16% because you were basically just jumping in, soul bombing, and that was all guild quest at the time. So you wanted as much damage as possible, so this link was very, very good. But unfortunately, I don't use that anymore. So she's kind of just a dead character at this point. No use in using her unless you pull her at your fairly new account. This is still a good link, just nowhere near as good as a full stamina or strong attack damage and recharge link. So, yeah. She looks cool though. 
and she has her Bankai and her Soul Bomb, but she doesn't transform, unfortunate. Uh, now, Yachiru. Oh my god, that's what it was. Like, it's not a terrible, terrible link, but it's just like, you're not gonna really use it anywhere. I mean, honestly, I might use it on, like, 8th Anniversary Ichigo for autoing, to be honest, but, like, I just have better links now. Um, yeah, her... Berserker... Berserker plus 50%, Bombardment plus 1, Bruiser plus 40, Damage inflicted on full stamina. I think it's not bad damage, but I think her strong attack kit is just really wonky. If I remember when I remember trying her way back when she resurrected, but could be wrong. She also doesn't inflict any status elements. So it's like you're never gonna bring her into IT unless you like really like the character, but she doesn't give any potions, so you're probably gonna get booted. Um, yeah, she's probably just a link just for autoing like droplet quest. To be honest, that that's where you would use her. Good 14% recharge link though. Unfortunately, they didn't give her full stamina damage or strong attack damage or anything. That would have been very very nice. That's all they would have to do. But unfortunately, they hate these links. <laughs> they hate these links. Uh, it's so unfortunate. So that's the banner. Let me know down below if you guys are gonna be summoning. I am not gonna do a single step. I don't like the Biaki at all. I have Asnot, so he's just, just ch chilling in my box collecting dust. Uh, I did use him on Limit Breaker, but like outside of that, one month, never used him again. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Take care and peace out.